So you can get your own on. Can I get a little bit of mmm? Om. Mm, hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Fly, spelled with an I, and this is Fly Heritage, where each and every Tuesday we talk travel. On today's episode of Travel Talk Tuesday, I'm going to tell you five, five, five. Five, five, five good reasons to travel solo. Yay! People always ask me why I travel solo. They can't believe it. Girl, you going by yourself? Alone? With nobody? All the way over there? I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah I am. Reason number one. Your schedule is the schedule. There are no compromises. You do what you want, when you want, and it is such a beautiful thing. You have that freedom and that flexibility to uh, scratch some things off if you'd like, or to add some things to your list. It's just your way. And that is a beautiful thing indeed. Thing number two, your stress level decreases. And we all need some. Mm -hmm. In our lives, don't we? Can you imagine the mad dash of five people running to the airport to catch a 5 a.m. flight? Come on, that's, it adds to your stress. Even if you are on top of everything, you have everything in order. This person may have misplaced their boarding pass and that person tried to carry water through the security and just all of this nonsense that kind of rubs off on you um, unnecessarily, really. Also not to say that you don't do that when you travel alone. However, one person's stress is greater because it's less than See what I did there? It's greater because it's less than five people stress all coming into the trip together or all coming home together. You need this zen. That's why you took the vacation. Mm -hmm. Rule number three, your relationships are stronger when you travel solo. You're not arguing over where to eat or what to eat or what time to eat. There are no disagreements about who should shower first and what time we have to be out of the door. No disagreements, no arguments. There remains some love for people in there. You can still love the people because you're not arguing with them. So, yay. Another reason why your relationship uh, remains stronger or grows stronger, it gives, you, it gives people time to miss each other. It gives them time to kind of get away from one another and let the let that let the heart grow fonder, you know. And the fourth reason why traveling solo can be beneficial is because when you travel with someone, you might not end up traveling anywhere. Have you ever planned a trip with someone, saved up your money, and coordinated the dates, picked the picked the destination? and all of this stuff only to find when it's time to buy the tickets or actually pay a deposit for something, they don't have the money or they couldn't get time away from work. Listen, if I've done all of this preparation. What do you mean you can't go? What the what? What do you mean you can't go? So now you're sitting at home looking like this That's happened to me plenty of times. So now I just be like, deuces. <laughs> and the fifth and final reason why I love traveling solo is because I get to know myself on a deeper level. There aren't any other distractions. There aren't any other people there to take you away from having those silent moments, um, that reflection time towards what type of foods do you naturally gravitate? Towards what type of activities 
Um, do you naturally gravitate? Like, What type of things really interest you without all of the outside voices telling you that you should do this, or you should eat that, or we should do this, or we should eat that? And it's something very intimate about being alone, really having to gain an understanding of the inner workings while you are there um, to, to feed your purpose. And um, it's really powerful. I've learned a lot about myself traveling alone. Um, and I'm really thankful for it. i definitely like to know why you like traveling solo or if you haven't, why you haven't traveled solo before. So leave it in the comments, talk to me, let's start a traveling solo conversation. Again, I am Fly and this is Fly Heritage. Catch up with me on my blog, flyheritage.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fly Heritage. All of that is spelled fly with an I. Stay lifted in love and light. Travel solo. I will see you all next week. Bye.